Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Benzo here. We're going to be doing a plugin install for your 2021. We're going to be installing several different kinds of plugins. Some of these plugins go into your main game directory. Some of them go into your plugins folder. Some of them go into a different folder. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step. These are going to be timestamped below. So be sure to look out for that. Well, we're going to be installing everything that you see on the screen right there. It's a lot of different plugins. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. Let's go. Okay, let's head over to Script Hook website. We're going to go ahead and download a file back over there. We're going to get this onto our desktop. Okay, let's hop over to Bajojo's website. I'll be sure to leave a link for you down in the description. Also, it's important to note he does have a Discord here. If you're having any problems with his plugins, you can always pop into his Discord. And then also, if you uh, care to donate, even if it's like a dollar, I'm sure he would appreciate that. We're going to be downloading Stop the Ped, Ultimate Backup, CompuLite, Speed Radar Light, ALPR Light, and then Simple Callouts. I chose to do uh, simple callouts because we need to have at least one callout pack and I'm going to show you how to install that today. But we're going to go ahead and click on this one right here. I'm not going to do this for every one of them. You're going to come down to the very bottom and you're going to click on this little arrow right there. You can also click on these links as well. So we're going to get every one of these onto our desktop. Okay, next up is player location display. That gives you the address down at the bottom left of your screen. Pretty cool. We're going to download this from Lieutenant Kane and we're going to click right there. Agree and download and get this onto our desktop. Okay, next up is Spotlight by Alex Wire. We're gonna go ahead and download this as well. Okay, next up is License Plate Randomizer. You can get rid of that 46EEK572 by a PNW Parks fan. We're gonna go ahead and download this and get this onto our desktop as well. Okay, we have several downloads onto our desktop right now, and obviously you have to have LSPDFR installed. If you need to learn how to install LSPDFR, I already made a video on that. I'll be sure to link that below down in the description as well. But we need to find our main game directory, and I'm sure you guys, most of you guys probably already know how to get there. But just in case you don't, I'm going to go ahead and list three of the most common pathways that you'll find when you first install GTA 5. You probably already know how to do this. This is the Steam pathway. This is the retail pathway. That's where you download it from Rockstar. And then the bottom one is the Epic Games users pathway. So we're going to go ahead and install script tip first. Pretty easy. We're going to pull up our main game directory. I have mine pinned to the taskbar. And then we're going to go ahead and get in a habit when you do this is uh, take the actual folder move it onto your desktop i'm not going to do this or explain this with every single one of these because it gets kind of, it gets very redundant so we're going to open up the bin folder and we're going to take the input 8 and script hook and we're going to move it right into our main game directory like this uh, if you're uh, upgrading your script hook if it's a new uh, new upgrade go ahead and replace the files Okay, next up is Player Location Display, otherwise known as PLD. Now you need to have Script Hook in order for Player Location Display to work. That is one of the reasons why we installed that. Uh, you're going to take your installation files, we're going to move those onto the desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and open this up. And then you'll see it's called Grand Theft Auto 5. Now it, the reason why it's called that, it goes right into your main game directory. It doesn't go in any folder, it goes straight into your main game directory. You're going to take these two files. Uh, and also be aware that you may not have a logo that looks like Rockstar. Uh, that's just the way that uh, one of my files had opened a long time ago and it just kind of defaults to that. So we're going to go ahead and drag these right into your main game directory. Notice it doesn't go in any folder. And we're going to, I already have it installed, but we're going to go ahead and overwrite this. And then that one is installed. Now I do want to point out that your player location display, it has a configuration setting. So I'm going to go ahead and open this right here. And I've already got a configuration setting that works really well for my particular game. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the player location display coordinates for you down below. A lot of people ask me this question as to how to position it more correctly. So I already have this, uh, it's a real simple thing. So like I said, I'm gonna leave this for you down in the description as well. And I'm gonna paste this right there. It just changes the actual position of the player location display a little bit better on your screen. So that one there is done. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And we are we just installed player location display. Okay, next up is stop the ped. We're gonna go ahead and open this file right here. We're gonna grab stop the ped. We're gonna move it onto our desktop. We're gonna pull up stop the ped. And then you'll notice that it has a plugins folder and it has a rage native UI. We're gonna go ahead and install. Uh, we're gonna grab these right here and we're gonna be dragging these right into our desktop. But I do want to point out that uh, the Stop the Ped has an actual folder inside here called LSPDFR. So with Windows 10, it likes to merge files, and that's kind of what you want anyway. 
So if I go into my plugins folder inside my main game directory, all you're going to see right now is just LSPD first response. So when we drag these over, you're going to have an extra folder in here. So all you do is you get in the habit of taking this file right here and you're going to be dragging these into here. But we also need Rage Native UI. So grab plugins folder in Rage Native UI and you're going to literally drag and drop. Now I think I do have Rage Native UI already in here. It may ask to overwrite. That's that's actually fine. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to close out of this. And then there's a couple things I want to show you with Stop the Pet. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I've already done a one hour long tutorial on Stop the Pet. You can always go back and watch that. So we're, uh, we just have an LSPD fire folder inside here. If you dive deeper, uh, you're going to see a few files right here. Don't let this worry you. You, you didn't install uh, Play Smart Radio and you did, you did not install Vocal Dispatch. Uh, these are just files over here to show you that it's compatible with that. So what we can do is we're going to go into Stop the Ped configuration setting first. We're going to just change a couple of things. We're going to drag this back over here. And so you can kind of see the actual uh, menu keys and things like that. I'm probably not going to change uh, really anything, but you, you can kind of come in here and actually uh, look at things that you can change. Okay, there's one more little step that I want to show you with Stop the Ped. That gets very annoying whenever you make a traffic stop. You'll have overlapping menus. A lot of people ask this question, and you can see right there on the screen what that looks like. It's extremely annoying, so this is how you fix that. You go to your main game directory, and you go into LSPDFR. It's a small lowercase folder right there. You double click that. You go to Keys. That's a configuration file. You double click this. It should open in Notepad. And you want to go down to where it says traffic stop interact. If it's defaults to E, make sure you change that to none. Make sure it looks just like that. That way you don't get those overlapping menus. We're going to get back to our main game directory and then we're going to continue with the actual plugin installs. Next up is ultimate backup. We're going to open this particular folder right here for, for ultimate backup. I'm only choosing these because I use these all the time and all my videos and streams. Uh, notice we already have the Rage Native UI, but once again, if you want to get in the habit of just replacing it, you can. And so we're going to go ahead and take this file here, take this file here. We're going to drag it right into our main game directory and let it merge. We're going to go into our plugins folder, and then you'll have an LSPDFire folder in all caps. We're going to go in here, and then you have an ultimate backup folder, and then you have a DLL, and you have a configuration file. Let's go ahead and go to the configuration file real fast because I do want to show you something that's super important with Ultimate Backup. Your toggle key to get to Ultimate Backup is defaulted to B. That is the same key that LSPDFAR uses. Uh, make sure you change that to a different key. I found that the capital O and the capital K work pretty well. So I like to change mine to O. You can change this to anything you want as long as it doesn't conflict with another key. I'm going to change mine to O. Uh, make sure it is capitalized. So uh, that's one important thing right there. I'm not going to go into all the details with this because you can see there's a lot of things in here to cover. But just realize that that is the one thing I definitely wanted to cover is that you need to change this to a different key besides the B key. Okay, we're going to install ALPR Lite. Uh, this is a plate recognition system. It's pretty cool. And then uh, once again, it's labeled plugins. And we're just going to drag it right into your, to your main game directory and let it merge. So we're going to go ahead and go into here. I'm going to see if there's anything we need to change. I don't think so. We're going to go into LSPD Fire folder. And then you have an ALPR configuration settings. This is also known as an INI. &I. When you open this up, the uh, toggle key is F8. Now that particular key conflicts with my other keys that I have. So I'm going to change mine to F10. Now you can change that to any key you want. Just realize that uh, you know to uh, make sure you keep a note of that. And then you can change the probabilities if you want uh, on here. And for example, you know, 20, uh, this is in percentages, 20% uh, chances, uh, it's a high probability in my opinion. So if you want to turn it down a little bit, uh, you can also change the no registration weight. Uh, this has to do with the value as to how, uh, how often you're going to get a hit on your license plate readers. I will let you know that it does get very annoying when you see no registration all the time. Um, also, um, you know, like say no registration, expired registration, no insurance, expired insurance, uh, these kinds of things. 
So if I were you, you may want to consider going here and changing the weight of these particular items. Uh, weight has to do with uh, the percentage of how often you get those. Okay, and just back up, make sure you're in your main game directory. We're going to grab CompuLite and you can kind of see the process. It's the same thing. It also has a regenerative UI. Uh, you can replace if you want. I usually do this right here and just drag it right into your main game directory. And then we're going to replace the Rage Native UI again. You don't have to do this every time. If you already have it installed, don't worry about it. And we're going to go right into Plugins folder again. And then once again, into the LSPD Fire folder inside the Plugins folder. And then we have the CompuLite right there. So we're going to go ahead and go into that. Now to open the computer, uh, you're going to be inside your police vehicle. You're going to hold down the E key for about maybe one and a half seconds, two seconds and then you'll get to your actual CompuLite, which is the police computer by Bajojo. Uh, if you're on foot, uh, if, if you're out on foot and you wanna pull up the police tablet, you're gonna hold down the left control key and the number pad zero key. And then you can change the, uh, the actual keys right here if you'd like to. We're gonna go ahead and save this. I, I, I didn't really make any changes, but we're gonna go ahead and save that. Okay, once again, main game directory. We're gonna pull up speed radar light. And then we're going to be installing this one as well. We're going to grab this folder. And then it just has a plugins folder. We're going to dra drag this plugins folder right into here. And it's going to merge with this other plugins folder. And once again, it's going to end up with another folder inside here. And that is the speed radar light. Uh, once again, the configuration settings, this is an INI file. It should open up in notepad. So we're going to double click that. The toggle key for that is left control I key. So if you press your left control and then the I key, uh, you're gonna get the radar. Uh, you can increase, uh, just kind of be uh, aware of this, that you can increase this, the, uh, the actual speed threshold by holding down your left control key and hit the page up or page down while you hold that down. Uh, that way you can kind of modify it as you're patrolling and whatnot inside the city or out in the county or whatnot. And then you can change a few other things right here with blip duration. Uh, it'll actually blip the vehicle. It'll make it like a red dot. It'll flash on the actual radar on your minimap uh, radar. So you can change that to yes or no. And there's all kinds of different things you can change and as well as MPH, or you can do it as kilometer. Okay, back to main game directory. We're gonna install a callout. Now all the callouts are installed exactly the same way. So I just chose one callout pack. And like I said, all the callouts, um, by the way, I have all these listed on my recommended plugins down in the link in the, the description of every single video that I do, every single stream that I do. So if anybody asks, you know, what kind of callout pack is this? Where do I find it? It's always in that Google documents. So we're gonna pull up simple callouts. Now notice that this has an LSPDFR folder. And then you also have an LSPDFR folder on your, in your main game directory. These have to do more with audio files. So we're going to be dragging this one and then also this one. So we're going to be dragging these two files into here and it's going to merge with these. So drag these right into your main game directory and just let it merge. Now I already have these files, uh, some of the uh, audio files. I'm going to go ahead and replace. I always get in the habit of doing that so the callouts work properly. And then I'm not going to go into too much into here because it ends up with the audio files, but we are going to go into plugins once again into this folder. And then we had uh, simple callouts. Now, if you'll notice that uh, simple callouts doesn't have a configuration file, uh, there's no need to change anything. So that one is done. Now, some of these uh, callouts that you will download and install, some of them will have a configuration file, otherwise known as INI files. You can actually click on that and you can disable or enable certain callouts that you get. This particular callout pack doesn't have that ability, so we're not gonna worry about it. Okay, last but not least, we have two other installation files right here. Now I chose these to do last because uh, they're installed a special way. So license plate randomizer and then spotlight. So license plate randomizer is one of those special kind of plugins that gets loaded with Rage plugin hook, meaning that you have to tell Rage plugin hook to load it. Same way with spotlight. So the, the actual user or the uh, person that, um, that modded this particular file for license plate randomizer, he doesn't give you a lot of detailed description on where to install it. He does in his description on the lspdfar.com site, but I'm going to show you how to do it real fast. So if you look at your plugins folder inside your main game directory, uh, once again, it's going to look sort of something like this. 
uh, it needs to go straight into here, not into this folder. So we're going to grab a license plate randomizer, drag it right into there, and then that one is installed. We're going to do the same thing with Spotlight. We're going to pull up Spotlight, and then it has two files that you need. You need a folder called Spotlight Resources, and you need Spotlight DLL. So we're going to do Love Control, hold that one down, and we're going to hold, we're going to click on that. We're going to drag these two files right into your plugins folder. So once again, these get loaded with Raychook. These are the ones that you may see on screen when your game is loading up. You're going to see LSPDFR being loaded in and you're going to see license plate randomizer. And then also you'll see spotlight being loaded in. However, we have to tell Raychook how to load it. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. We're going to fire up Raychook. Now Raychook may be already on your desktop. And what you would do is double click that and hold down your shift key for about two seconds. Mine is on my taskbar, so I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to hold down my shift key, my left shift key. I'm going to get to our rage menu. And it's going to look something sort of like this. Now, my advice is on the plugin timeout threshold. It may uh, be defaulted to one or 10,000 rather. I would uh, change this to 60,000. So let's change this to a six. And then that allows the uh, rage plugin hook enough time to load all your plugins. So change that to 60,000. The next thing you want to do is go to plugins. So load these plugins on startup. It may look like this. There's a couple things you can do is you can click on that. It'll save you the grief of having to remember to do all this. But for the sake of argument, we're going to uh, make sure these are checked off. So LSPD first response needs to be checked off. Otherwise it won't be loaded. We're going to also check off license plate randomizer. We're also going to check off spotlight right here. So that way it gets loaded into the game. So now we're going to go ahead and save and launch and then we're done. Okay guys, that's going to go ahead and conclude our video for today. I hope you guys got some uh, kind of use out of that. If you did, make sure you hit the like and comment down below as it helps to rank a little bit higher on YouTube. And hey, if I earned your subscription by the end of today's video, I greatly appreciate that. Be sure to hit the sub button and we'll see you on the next patrol. Stay safe.